Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create three beautiful DIYs using Dollar Tree items. Don't forget that next week I have a very exciting project coming your way, so make sure to subscribe. Well, now that that has been said, let's get started. The first project is how to create a unique cube organizer. I used this gorgeous vintage blush color and I made sure to paint all the sides and also the inside. After, using silver paint, I gently sprayed it on top to add more dimension. Once dried, we can move on to the next step. I selected these square mirrors, you'll need a total of 4 per cube. The first thing you want to do is to remove the rubber feet of the mirror coasters. Once the back is completely flat, you can then add a generous amount of glue. I recommend you mix hot glue and a strong permanent adhesive for maximum durability. Just glue each mirror until the front of the cube is fully covered. Once the mirrors are added, we can move on to prepare the paint to create the floral branches. For the actual branches, I mixed gold and silver to create my signature brass color. I also added black and mixed it with the brass color to create a darker shade for the shadows. For a perfect branch design, you first want to design the middle branch. After, continue adding medium branches to the middle branch, and then you want to add even smaller branches to the medium ones until you're happy on how the overall design looks. I also added lines with a darker shade to create the shadows. To add the flowers, I selected pastel pink and bluish gray. You simply want to add scribbly dots through the branches. Start with pink and then add another color beside it to create the floral look. I ended up adding two branches, one on the top and one on the bottom. To prevent the paint from chipping away, you want to add a coat of Mod Podge. This may seem counterintuitive, but once dry, it will appear clear. For the handle, I selected this grey ribbon from Dollar Tree and I cut it to the perfect measurement. After, you want to burn the ends to seal them and then you want to add a strong permanent adhesive to each side of the handle and glue it in place. Once everything is dry, these are the results. The way your organizing cubes look can really transform your space since they're visually exposed, so the more love you give to them, the better. This is just to give you an idea, you can play with colors or just add the mirrors and change the handles. I'm looking forward to showing you more designs that I have in mind on upcoming videos, so stay tuned for that. For this next project, we will be creating a vintage hairbrush. First, you want to select a large hairbrush and you want to remove the bristles from the plastic frame. After, you want to select this beautiful mirror that they carry and you want to remove the mirror from it. Once removed, you want to paint the middle portion with black. This will camouflage that the bristles aren't a perfect fit for this frame. You also want to add a coat of Mod Podge to prevent discoloration. After, you want to place the bristles on top of the mirror frame and you want to cut the edges so it fits perfectly. Finally, you want to add a generous amount of glue to the frame and also to the edges of the bristles and you want to secure everything in place. You can also add hot glue to the edges once everything is in place for extra security. Once dry, these are the results. If you apply glue correctly, this hairbrush is completely functional and it's also the perfect set for the next project. This next project is how to create a beautiful vintage-inspired vanity mirror. You'll need two of these silver trays. First, you want to place the first tray upside down, and then you want to add a generous amount of glue to the bottom, and then place the second one facing upwards. This step is important because otherwise the tray won't be able to stand on the base if you only use one. Not to mention that it makes the back of the project look nice as well. After taking the same mirror from before, you want to heat up an X-Acto knife and you want to cut off the handle from the mirror. Do not throw away the detached handle, we will be using it later on this project. Once you're done, before anything else, make sure to cool off the knife with cold water. If you don't, you might damage the surface that you're working on or even worse, hurt yourself. If you're not old enough to do this, please ask an adult to help you out. I also sanded the edges for a smoother finish. 
This step is optional, but to cover the black, I decided to spray adhesive glue and sprinkle glitter for a pop of shimmer. You can use silver paint if you prefer. Next, add a generous amount of glue on the middle of the tray and place the mirror on the center. Moving on to the next step, using the same brass color from before, I painted the candlestick that we will be using as the base. I also added some of the darker shades for more dimension. Once dry, just add glue to the top of the candlestick and place the tray on top of it. Next, take the handle bit and paint it with the same brass color and then glue it to the top of the tray. This will make the overall design look more vintage. If you want to leave it as it is, that's fine, but I decided to accent mine with flowers. I selected roses from Dollar Tree and I hand painted them. If you want to achieve a similar pink to mine, simply add a small portion of pink to a larger body of white, then add gold for added warmth, and finally add a little bit of bluish gray for a more lavender undertone. You first want to dismantle the flowers, and then you want to paint each petal. I also mix a little bit of black with the pink to create a darker shade, and I place it mostly focusing on the center of the flower. After, reassemble them. I decided to spray mine with adhesive glue and then gently sprinkle glitter for a pop of shimmer. I ended up transforming roses and lilies. After, simply add a generous amount of glue to the back of the flower and place it where you like. I also added a sequin trim to the lip of the candlestick and once everything was in place, these are the final results. happy on how this turned out. This along with a hairbrush on top of a vanity would look absolutely beautiful and whimsical. I also think it would look gorgeous along with the DIY orb chandelier that I previously made. I'll link it down below in case you haven't watched it. Although these DIYs are more on the darker and mature side, I still think it would look amazing on a girl's bedroom. It's very affordable yet charming and tasteful and they look like they came straight out of a vintage fairy tale. Really quick, don't forget to subscribe to my sister and my bunny's channel, I'll leave these links down below. Also visit my online boutique and follow me on Instagram to stay in touch. Well now that that has been said, once again thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I hope you have a very blessed day, may God bless you, and 